Hi everyone, this is Dr. Karens, and in this video, I am going to explain to you um, some instructions for homeostasis activity part two. So first of all, I'm going to go into our assignments and find the assignment. Homeostasis assignment part two. I am going to click on this. And here's some instructions. So, um, well, first of all, before I go through this, what I'm going to do is open the document that you're going to be completing. So when you do that, this should look familiar to you. Look at this assignment right here. You've seen this already. This is basically, it is the same assignment as what you completed in homeostasis part one. So part one, you completed on your own. Part two, you will be completing in your groups. So again, you're gonna be downloading this document and answering the questions and saving it accordingly, which I'll explain in a minute, and uploading it again. So you're basically doing this assignment again, but you're doing it in a group. So let's go through the instructions. So. First of all, I need to assign your groups. And when I do that, I will post an announcement. I have a um, video, you can click on the link here uh, for how to find your group if you're not sure how to do that. So go and check out that video. But once the group has been assigned and you find your group, your first task as a group is to come up with a group communication plan. The only criteria for this task is that you use the discussion board feature within your group. So again, go back and look at the video where I talk about how to find your group. I briefly mentioned the fact that within each group, there is a link to a discussion board. You need to use this discussion board to figure out how you're going to communicate with your group to answer these questions. Now, how you decide to communicate with each other is up to you and your group. You, don't, you can use this discussion board if you want. Then there is a record of your contribution that I can see, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to use the discussion board to do the assignment. You have to use the discussion board to come up with your communication plan. And what I'm looking for there is I need to see that everyone in your group has contributed to that discussion and everyone has agreed to the plan as to how you're going to communicate for this assignment. There is a deadline for this communication plan. It's Monday, September 16th. And I'm going to go in on the 17th and look and see what everyone's communication plan is. And I'm going to look and see, did everyone in the group contribute to this discussion and did everyone agree? Because if you did not contribute anything to this discussion, you are out of this assignment. You have lost any right to complete this assignment. It is not fair to the rest of your group members if they have to continually try to hunt you down and get you to participate. So if you, don't, if you do not participate in the group communication plan, you are going to get a zero for homeostasis assignment part two, and you're going to get a zero for teamwork evaluation that's part of this assignment as well, because you didn't contribute to this initial task. Okay, so once your communication plan is um, established, you're going to work in your group to answer those questions in that document. In this document, you come back here, same questions you saw in part one, you're going to answer them again in part two. But this time, because you have group members, and you each will have feedback that I gave you on part one. The idea is to use the feedback I gave you to contribute to revised answers to these questions for your group submission. So if you did part one, then you have a way to contribute to part two. Use the feedback I gave you, share that feedback with your group members, and everyone should be using my feedback to help draft new and ideally better answers to each of those questions. If you've forgotten or need, again, some more instruction on really what I'm looking for in those questions and my feedback wasn't enough, 
Go back to, here's a link here. It says what I'm looking for in your answers. This is the video that I sent to you all first and in, in terms of how to answer the questions for part one. So you can go back and look at that if you want. Okay, so once you've come up with the answers to your question, um, that document that is attached here, you're going to download it. You're going to put your answers on it document just like you did for part one. And now you're going to save it with everybody's last name in the document title. So your document title should be part two underscore followed by everybody's last name, everybody in the group. And make sure you follow these acceptable file formats. So the answers to these questions are due on 926. You have um, 10 days from when you come up with your communication plan or when that plan is due, you have 10 days to complete this assignment, which honestly should be more than enough time since you, if you've all done part one, you're really just revising your answers to part one. Along with this, you need to complete the teamwork evaluation form, and that's how you're rating yourself and your group members in terms of how well you worked in a group to complete this assignment. This is also due on 926. This is a separate assignment. You don't upload it here. It is a separate assignment. And there is a video down here to direct you on how to complete that evaluation form. So if you've got any questions about this activity, please let me know. As I continue to scroll down, I can see the rubric. The rubric, this is the same rubric that I'm gonna use um, when I grade part one, I'm really looking for, did you completely answer all of the questions um, and answer them correctly with complete sentences? That's really what I'm looking for. Um, and again, using my feedback from part one should help you if you did not get the score you were hoping for in part one, then hopefully the score for this group submission will be higher. Um, yeah, so if you've got any questions, please let me know. Um, if you're looking at the syllabus and looking at um, what you're graded on in this course, the homeostasis assignment is worth 30 points total. You get 10 points for part one, 10 points for part two, and 10 points for the teamwork evaluation form. So as long as you're completing everything and submitting everything on time, um, you you do and follow the directions, you're going to do pretty well on this assignment. So you know, as long as you do what's asked, follow the directions, ask questions if you need clarification, this should not stress you out. But if you are stressed out, please contact me because I want to help you. So just let me know if you've got any questions.